one of us. We are back on a favorite Wednesday for our Wednesday session, marriage and family life issues, topics that are intriguing as usual. And today we are going to continue the part two and hopefully the last version of the controversial topics, which is today it's a, an open discussion or where we allow people to bring in their contribution. But first of all, let us put ourselves into the hands of God and pray. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Gracious and ever-living Father, I thank you for the gift of the day. I thank you for the gift of life, for giving us the parenting. Father, I pray that once again you may grant unto us the opportunity that discussion is discussing issues that concern parenting. You may enlighten us that we may think outside, be able to, Lord, lead lives that are pleasing unto you. Bless our gathering, those of us who are here and those who are yet to join us. Give each and every one of us an opening, open ear and a heart that is ready to listen to each other. Bless this gathering with your presence. We make our prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women. And blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. So my dear brothers and sisters, I welcome you all to our Wednesday special. Today, the topic is interesting as usual, and it is discussing all issues of controversial issues, things that are otherwise not so, though we don't have a clear cut solution, but we need to add common sense and the grace of God here. And uh, as we began last week, uh, I just began by saying that there's more than one way to skin a cat. And then we also said that there is a controversy. And the controversy is that uh, Jeffrey Archer says that I have discovered with advanced years that few things are entirely black or white. More than often, there are shades of gray. So you see that there's no one way of doing things. Within an important issue, with any important issue, there are always aspects that no one wishes to discuss. And some of these things, I think we are going to be facing them. We want to be discussing them. And then I also, last week I quoted this for us. If you want to see the true measure of a man, watch how he treats his inferiors, not his equals. So parents, this is an advice to us. When you, the way you treat your children, the way you treat those who are under you, just will be the measure of how human you are, how truly human. Last week, we had the opportunity to look at spare the rod and spoil the child. We had the opportunity, people were able to come up with their uh, ideas. So unless people want to go back to it, yes, you may want to bring your new ideas after thinking about it. Now, the other one was paying children to do chores. Should we pay children to do the chores in the house? Well, this is uh, another question that is always lingering. And I know so many people are into that. And uh, we found ways of going about it. And we gave all kinds of advice. We also went on to say, taking baby or children or your child to the bar or certain places that are purely or are otherwise considered to be adult, is it okay? Some people suggested that some bars have a children's canna and it may be okay to take them as long as they have a children's canna. Okay. Now again, we went to topics like playing with the toy gun, playing with the toy gun or dolls, fertility dolls. What do you think about them? What do you think about them? So those people gave their reasons and their... Then we went on to looking at naming ceremony with alcohol or soft drink. What do you think? Why is alcohol these days not preferred? Is it that you can, everybody can change it 
What about the saying that they say that a dear a day inside a disease year in a year? What about all those things like that? Okay, now then again, it looks like the local names for children or Western names. Can we have names that are local or we can also give foreign names that to our children? Why do we choose those names? Is it just because you don't like foreign names or is it just because we don't understand them or is it just because we are biased towards our local names or what? These are things that parents need to think about. And we looked at the canon law, what it says about giving names, canon 855, that says that as long as you do not choose a name that is against the Christian sensibility, it is okay. So once you are going to be choosing the name, the first question I'll be asking you is, what is the meaning of the name? What has it got to do with your life? Why choose such a name? Is it, has it got a Christian orientation? Those are the things that you must ask yourself. Now, with this said as an introduction, which we used for last week, we want to go into the new areas, the new areas of our discussion, new areas of our discussion. Please let us be mindful that we will be given the opportunities to unmute ourselves so that you can bring your question or you can bring a suggestion. I beg you, if you do not have a question, do not unmute yourself. When you have a question, you can easily unmute yourself or you may send in your question via the chat button or just raise, use the raise your hand uh, button and you will be called and so that you can unmute yourself. So you can go back to any of those questions, give your contributions there, or we can allow ourselves to move ahead with the new controversial questions that are coming up. So without wasting much time, I will move straight into the new one for the day without putting the old one. Now, the question is, should we be planning our family with, with the mind that our grandparents or our parents or others will take care of them, of our children? What do you think about that? So many people have given birth now. And then some of them, you think that it is the duty of your elderly children to take care of their, their younger ones. Is this okay? Is this the way you should be? Is this why you gave birth to many children? Why is it that you expect people to be taking care of your children that you have given birth? Is it okay? What do you say about that? These are controversial questions that are there. Uh, there is a quote that says that the rich can live better than the poor, but they can never live without the poor. Well, this is a saying that is there. My dear friends, it is time. You can open. It is time, it's time, it's time. Let me hear your contributions. What do you think? Should we plan our families, keeping in mind that grandparents or parents or friends, even your children will take care of your your children, the younger ones for you, is that the way to go? Is that the way to go? What do you think about that? What is the world coming up to? Time. Who is setting the ball rolling at this time? And I am at your service very well now. Okay, I'm at your service now. Should we be planning our family with the mind that God pay a grandparents, parents, or others will take care of them? Has anybody a suggestion, please? Anybody? Should other people be taking care of your children? What are the effects? Is it that effective? Nokia 6, I see you, Nokia 6, you are there. Nokia 6, please, you are unmuted, you can speak. Okay, Nokia 6 is no more. Susan, yes. 
Good evening, Father. Good evening. Yeah, Father, I think it depends on the circumstance. Sometimes, I mean, you've had a child, maybe you were doing a, a job that you'll be able to look after your own child, and then it will come to a time that your job changes, so you have to let somebody else look after your child for you. So I think it depends on the circumstance. And when the circumstance change, you just look for somebody to take care of your child without also considering the effect that will come onto your children in the near future? Um, hmm. For example, I mean, it depends on, the, like I said, it depends on the kind of job that you're doing, especially maybe someone like a doctor. I mean, with someone who is a doctor, the doctor could be on a call. So they could be at home and they would just call the doctor that, oh, some emergency has arisen, so you need to come and look after the patient. So that's what I'm saying. It depends on the circumstance. Yeah. yeah. No, I think if you if if your if your answer is on emergency situations, that is very very clear. I'm looking at the, the controversial part is that people plan their lives, their marriage, their their family based on the fact that obi be sure my mommy. You understand? That's what I'm trying to look at. Is that okay? I mean, with oh. me, it's not okay for me. That, that, that's, 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 that's where we are going. That's what I'm try we are trying to address. Because a lot of people just feel that, well, I mean, I so then it's like I go because of my job. So all I need to do is to go bring more money home. More money home, you know. Those are, yeah. that's what I want to, we want to address. Yeah, we want to address those, those things. Yeah. yeah, with me, I mean, it's not okay with me that I have to, I mean, have case and I'll allow somebody else to look after them. So if you can look after your child, then I think that there's no need for you to have children. Okay, very good. Okay, that's Susan giving her suggestion. Do I have Nokia 6 back online? Nokia 6. Yes. Yes, please. Nokia 6, please, you may speak. Otherwise, uh, otherwise we can have um, Albertina. Yeah. Good evening, Father. Good evening, Albertina. Yes. This um, issue, as you said, controversial. It yes. is. Um, sometimes you want to help. And so you will be the one to say, oh, if um, when you do get married, because of their career, some of them will want to leave having children till later. Okay. So it depends on the grandparents if they have time and if they are healthy enough they can say to their children look i would be there if you need me and in this day and age because of economical pressures people have got to go to work and so if you can help then it's okay to help but you can't help under duress. You see, you can't be forced into helping. Okay. If you are able to help, you help them. Because child binding in um, where we live, Father, you're looking at taking your one child to a child minder and they're charging you 80 pounds or 85 pounds a day and if you are not doing anything what good is you being there so Hello, some of us do rest, rest, rest. Rest. Yes. It's and that is my contribution thank you very much thank you very much okay for that okay do i have charles yabua charles yabua no father excuse me okay you are moved. okay we are also have um um how why way why six okay we have Paul Paula come now mommy dinner father 
my body. Ah, okay. Away. okay, okay. Yo, father, me can be me be kakra. Efa, Fabia, eh, emano ye wu oma. Em, baby ye hiya se, em, awu fono, nina wase, ye she ye ma. Efi se, te awu fono she akwara na, una wu wo atinka na una ube nya, entitiye na upe su udima ubano. Te wu muta se, ye ye nyuma anaso se eh me se nanafo no nso bi wo ho no mo a ne se omo so so e bo a ne nyina no eye na emu mu no empre bebre no e wo se eye ma me no ni ni titiru mi ko se ma pa de ye ka e ba ma me na hwe ba na papa so so e de ne de aka hu enu nti no se nkwara no nya sa eh enna no entiti ye ye kan se e ho hie eh ma me no aho hie wa kwara ni famu na e ma emi bebre no kwara no etumi etie ma me na sem e ma eh enti ase so so e ba asitene ni mu ate ase e tin se ehe u be ja kwara ni se bia ni na 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 enhwe no enhwe no Ehe, so mm. ba odi akora nbe ma na na se bi agrama da ne enhwe akora na wo nu ma me nu kwa sori nu ofika. Uko jo mu ko di uko ye wunuma na ade. Ta no akora no onya edo na e wo so odi ma ma wo ma me nu. Very good. Ma edo ni ni na ko she ye kan ne se ma me na 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 ma me nu emu. E se na wo ma me nu. Nti na ma akora no susu no ohu eh me se bia na we ya me maami ana me maami ni me nana enu ti ni se bebre no e wo se yen awofo no ye bo modin se ye bi bi ya se ya ye nyam me kwara no ni ye hwe kwara no enu mo mu ni be bua kwara no esne se ye be gya kwara no amuma muma ese we hwe ni mami e bia me sister ana me ba pani enu no e mo kwara no Yo, okay. Ah. Thank you. We also have a Ruby Eshon. Ruby Eshon. Uh, are you ready? Mr. Father. Yes. Do you uh, have a suggestion? Good you evening. Are... Good evening, yeah, Ruby. Auntie Ruby. Yeah. Um like i think every like everyone has said it's not the parents duty eh, sorry the parents uh, wish to leave their child with um other people circumstances in which we find make us do that at times and before we also do that i think we should look at the kind of people we leave the children with yes if it is for grandma your own mom or your mother-in-law who have taken care of you and your husband to 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 get to this stage and you are fine then yes you should have that trust that your child or children will be taken good care of after all it's just for a short period, maybe eight hours or so, that you go to work, you come back. You give all, all that they need. You make everything available. So grandma doesn't have to struggle to, to, to do certain things. So you see, she'll always be happy. Auntie Ruby. To, to, Auntie to Ruby. have her eyes on the kids. Hey. Yes, father. Hello, father. You go to work for My eight God. hours. You spend one hour or two hours in traffic to go to work. You spend another two hours to come back. That's four mm -hmm. hours plus the eight. Twelve <laughs> hours gone. By the time you get home, your children are asleep. And you, know, you don't get to see them. So at the end, yes, for some people, their work is okay. Other people... They begin to just say that once grandma is there, once the person is there, 
and then you hang. Okay. Father, you know, you know, I have been through it, and exactly what I'm saying is that I agree with all that everybody has said. Do, mm. and again, you know, the children's schedule; they bring homework home, so yes. grandma will be there to take care of them after school, take their uh, lunch, their bath, see to it that they do their homework, and you would have also uh, instilled in the kids that attitude of sitting behind their books after uh, they have taken their bath in the evening to okay. do their homework, you know? So when you get to this place, uh, whatever you don't understand, leave it. We will do it. They know. So early morning, when you come and they are even asleep because they must sleep by eight o'clock. When you get to the uh, I said office, when you get home and they are asleep, all you need to do is very early in the morning, as usual, when they wake up, you do the homework before they start bathing. And of course, if there are one or two, one should be taking the bath whilst you do the homework with the other person. And then by the time this one finishes, this one too is done. Then you, you exchange. Actually, that is how I... Beautiful, beautiful. <laughs> and that's what it would have been if it is ideal. But you ask yourself, is this the ideal that a lot of people... So you find out that most children are growing up and they have, they have, they have love for other people than for their real parents. And their parents are struggling. Somebody has sent a message and said that, please, my take on this is that I will take grandparents... I would take grandparents if they are alive mm. as owners, but not the main carers of my children or yeah. to be children. The mm -hmm. sole responsibility should rest on me fully, but where their help is needed for a short instance, I can mm -hmm. resort to them, but sure. I should normalize it in the shortest possible time. Wow, this is yeah. good. Okay. Yeah. And somebody yeah. says, personally, godparents are not my take. Great. Mm -hmm. Okay. He says, I had a bad experience mm. with one. Uh, I had a bad experience with one when they just visited and we were together a few weeks. Mm. I never liked some few things they did with the mm. kids, but mm -hmm. generally, they were helpful and sometimes mm. the, some things did not work out uh, as I expected. Wow, this is good. Okay, now I'd like to go on, pick another topic and I can always come back. If you feel like coming back, you can always come oh, back. Angelina. Angelina, okay. Meanwhile, I'm still going on. I just, let me give me a little bit. I want to take, is getting your child to be quiet or sober in front of the screen, a good idea or a great idea. Today, when your child, when we grow up, when your child is growing, you just say, "Oh, where is the mobile phone?" And you just give them mobile phone. Now they are calling a cotton TV in him. Now just a call a The child will be quiet. If the child is quiet for that time, and always the child is there, are we? Where are we going to, my dear friends? Children are growing, knowing that it is telephone, the screen, that should make them quiet. Angelina or whoever, yes. What can we do? These are two topics that are there already. Okay. I am still on controversial issues. Angelina, if you are there. Hold on. I'm going to talk about the first one. Yes. 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 Me and Anna and Colano by Antonia, Omuditi Mude. Ah, dear, but I'm trying to say, dear, any mamma, no, a bay yet. In two years, no, yes, strong Colana Cacra, Chan said, Mammy, for now, but it's a Mofrano. It does seem. Auntie Angelina, I think I know you well. I don't know whether you would love to share one particular incident of your child when he was. I don't know whether you can share it anyway. 
Okay. Okay. I hold a dear. Uba bisa o question. Say. Aha. Aha. No. Mhm. Asemen o bisa o. Uba no ya kola kiti kiti. Mhm. Uba no ya a a kola kitu a. Mhm. Ah. Ya wo no merwa merwa ne a kola a wo. Mhm. If you decide if you have fear for good. Mhm. If you don't know, I'm an inuya penny and an eire. Mhm. If one day we buy and sell, we buy in few few. I didn't start to eat home. Namu abuti, namu e, namu ogana, namu e. Abuti, abuti. You. Obusa e say, Mama, ne dada me pesa mi busa masem. Yesi busa e. Eti Mama ne dada mo plane ya sa namu ome. Ha 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 Nini yana onyane ma onyane papa ena nini yana yere nisho enyane maame. Mhm. Iti adibu wa honti mi musa nini yana yere. Eno honti mi musa nini yana. Ba adibu wa honti mi beti mi ya bisaye. Mhm. Eno ni yina contributu ni ya ye jana amu obi. Wene mama bida si mi brise ma mfa nisha wa si. Enso su wetu mi a share sa experience ya. Because I know inti na mi tumi bisa ha honi se. It's a very true thing. Inti na mi tumi tumi bisa honi na. Because in Kolani be brave, udi amukoja oni na na udi amukoja we udi amukoja we in Kolani oni anu obe bisa o se bonya brochure ba on to me en biye na no no aje se oni na odi na goja we just we sometimes we must think whether is it good for the children. Hey, Mama, thank you very much for allowing for sharing with us on this one. Thank you, Father. It has. Yes, do I see Nana yao? Nana yao? Nana yao? Yeah. Yeah, Father. Yeah, Father. I'm, I'm, uh, good evening. Uh, uh, thank you for this uh, controversial issues that we are discussing. Uh, my stick <laughs> on this grandparenting. Just want to okay. go back to uh, just uh, brief. My stick on the grandparenting and taking care of our children. Uh, I just want to uh, buttress the point. Uh, mother just spoke. The mother who just uh, spoke. Uh, that's an uh, an observation I have made over. Uh, some some few years, I realized that our grandparents tend to spoil us when we are being left in their care, and okay. the things that they did to their mm -hmm. children, that the kind of training, the hard training that they, they gave to our parents, they don't they won't they don't give us that training because they are we are their grandchildren, so they want to pamper us. They want, oh, and even when our parents <laughs> are trying to correct us, oh, give the child, oh, you are you are, you are wanting the child, you are doing this, ah, allow the child to have fun to. To be free, but they didn't do that to our parents. Mm. They didn't do that to our parents. Mm. So I, I think that as parents or as we are in the lucky true. days. But you see, and gradually, I, I think that is why generations coming tend to be our moral standards, and uh, I think is we are lowering down the moral standards. These are some of the. I feel these are some of the areas which we should check. Grandparents taking care of their grandchildren and trying to pamper them and not giving them the right uh, 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 discipline that they give to our, our parents. Trying to pamper us, we should check it, and I think we'll get better. Uh, with the second question, as whether it's good to leave your child if we have not started, if we have started that one, and I can come in, but if not, then when the time is you are coming. Okay. Yes. Yeah, since I've introduced it, because I wanted to say a little bit what our mother said in uh, in the English, but. Since you are on the floor, I would like you to finish, and I'll come back to the, what our mother said in English. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah, Father. So with this one, you see, the the challenge is not is even we with the uh, uh, the the parents ourselves because mm -hmm. it's like now we tend to see comfort and solace from these screens and this uh, social media phones and stuff. Where when we are we are we are unhappy, we are sad. We tend to see comfort from these gadgets, from these screens. So that, that we, we, we don't find any issue wrong trying to teach the children to also seek comfort from these uh, gadgets and screens. And so I, uh, and it's become a very big challenge. So the child grows up knowing that it is a screen and the gadget, the social media, that he, he or she should seek uh, comfort and then uh, uh, acceptance from. 
And that is why you realize that we, we get uh, likes from Facebook, likes, number of likes from Instagram, and we are happy. Oh, I have 10,000 likes. I have 20,000 likes. And it's like we are, we are made because it is from the childhood days, from what we, the topic we are discussing. It's from mm -hmm. the fact that as we are kids, we are being asked that, oh, when you are someone, you are crying, oh, mommy will, will put on a TV and, and we're telling nobody you watch, oh, be quiet. Right, be quite watch it because we have that's how we are brought up so i think that we have to go back to the roots and try and get time for our children try okay. and get time let them feel our presence let them feel our comfort our sort of from the human perception rather than leaving us to these gadgets and this uh, social media and 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 and, and, tele and, and screens thank you Father. thank you very much Nanayo. okay now i'd like to go back to what our mother bafuje who said and uh, angelina just said in uh, English for the benefit of those of us. So, uh, our mother just narrated a situation of her child, her last born who was uh, giving birth. When they, the parents were much, much uh, uh, advanced in age and they had almost completed their time. They had planned to stay in uh, abroad. But uh, they, so they would have loved to leave their son with their elderly uh, elder brother to take care of. So one day the boy came and said, Mama and Daddy, I just want to ask you a question. And the question was that, did you really plan about before you gave birth to me? And the parents said, oh, why will you ask such a question? He says, ah, but if you really did plan, why is it that you are now asking me to go and live with my brother? He's not my father. He's not my mother. Why do you expect me to go? So the, for the child, he felt that the mother and father had abandoned him and were now giving him into the fate of his senior brother. And that shows, you see, so what we are saying is that parents, you must think about when you have to leave your child, not just one hour or two hours or just one day with somebody, but the permanent leaving of your child with somebody, the effect on the child. Okay, so that's with that. My dear friends, we are still on the controversial question. Wow. Today, for your child to be quiet, the simple solution, just let the screen light on and the child will be quiet. Mama's ears will be just be fine. And then daddy can also snore whilst you sleep. Is this okay for parenting? Tell me. Gloria, I see you. Gloria, yes, Gloria. Yes, Papa. Yes, please. What is your take? Thank you, right? <laughs> yes. Um, on this particular issue, I think that it is not all that bad. Yes. If the parent regulates the time the child spends on the screen. Okay. Father, some of these children, they only stop talking when they are sleeping. I have one in my house. She will only stop talking when she is asleep. So, um, have you considered her age? She's three. Yes. So we but have the. She have hasn't even started school. Age? We have learned on the page. Yes. 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 Between, I have. <laughs> between <laughs> yes. one, between one and five years. How do you treat them? Like kings. Okay, so please let the yes. king, let the king or the little queen let her talk. <laughs> yes, father. So sometimes when you, even when you are in the kitchen by the fire, she wants to come close to you, carry her, do this, which is not safe. So at certain times, we just put her in front. She has these kids, Coco Melon and Co, that she watches, and they sometimes learn from some of these things too. Of course, not we don't. we don't um use that tv or those shows to uh, pet her when she's crying or anything of the sort no but okay. when you are busy and you want some one hour or two to do something to cook or to do something then we can put her uh, we can give her the screen to watch her all these nursery rhymes and stuff so to me it's not altogether bad if the parents regulate the times and the, the length and the duration of time that they spent on these screens. Thank you very much, Gloria. As I have already projected, how much truth or practical is there in the concept of monitored technology? 
Is it really practical? Is it really true? Is it really practical? You say you are going to be monitoring the technology. At the end of the day, technology takes over. How, how practical is it? For Gloria, she says she's trying and she's getting it. What about you? Anybody with another suggesting? Anybody with another suggesting, please? Do we have any other person giving us? Since we are still there, I'd love to give a, okay. One person has sent, he says, a, a father says, one reason why most of our kids can't speak the local language or mother tongue as most uh, is, um, is because most videos and the things they watch on the screen are foreign, foreign. Wow, this is a parent talking. He says that when the kids begin with the foreign language things, they just end up thinking, living foreign. And then you have, okay, that's a parent talking. What do you think? I love this controversial discussion. Wow. Okay. Now, another one is that, please, you can go back to any of the questions. It, they are all ours. Parents do not have time to learn new skills on parenting. Often, I see that parents don't have time. We don't want to learn any new skill on parenting, but they spend long hours on social media. Does this make parenting sense? Tell me what you think about it. Wow. Is anybody ready with a suggestion, please? Okay. Is anybody does anybody have a suggestion, please? Mm. Yes, sir. But are we? Yes. Before you come, I see Juliana. I see Juliana Donyo there. Juliana. Okay. Do we have Juliana? Okay. Now let's go to Nanayao. Yes. Yeah, Father, thank you. Uh, Father, it's, it's a challenging world in which we find ourselves uh, these days uh, because the, uh, gradually technology is taking over and uh, we, we always want to be abreast with the new uh, technological updates and advancement. That's why it seems like almost every one of us, including parents, we want to catch up with the latest trend on uh, social media uh, to the detriment of uh, the fact that there are also equally good things we can learn from the social media. I mean, uh, there how are much so many it, info. How much of it are we learning? How much of, well, the question is, why is it that technology is so good as we claim to be? And yet, very few of us are using this to actually enhance ourselves. This is the irony of the discussion. Why? Yes, yes, so why, for that, why? so... Father, is 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 a, is a, they may not be interesting. I mean, uh, and we are we we are skewed towards interesting items on the on the, who, who on the social the media. Interest? Who defines the interest? If you know that your child, if you know that if you know that you need to develop skills so that you will be able to train your child, why wouldn't you have interest? Is it maybe we work? also think we know. Father, we maybe we think we know it all. We think, I mean, uh, nobody okay. is to teach me how to take care of my child. That that might be the challenge. That nobody is to teach me how to take care of my child, my children. It's it's they are mine, and I I know. And even even the, even now, the the irony is that young ones coming up are even trying to make excuse for why even do we even need counseling at all for marriage. I mean, I don't need it. What, what is it? It's just go and talk, 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 because we are gradually losing the importance of some of these things Thank that you. we need to constantly inform ourselves, educate ourselves, learn new things, because new things are coming up, uh, things are changing, the world is changing, things are becoming mm -hmm. more sophisticated, and we need to rest ourselves with information and knowledge just to upgrade ourselves and take, do things more better. We are thinking that we know it all. We have arrived. I mean, nobody is to teach me what, what is the use. I mean, I know it. I'm, I'm taking care of my children and, 
I start man. maybe that's a challenge that's what For we lack of to knowledge, the bible it. says my people perish my people perish that's it thank you but we need more constant education and reminder to thank be able you. to do some of these things thank you father okay somebody has sent a message uh it says that uh, isaac uh, he says that uh, okay he says the screen can really be addictive truly it is addictive okay he says we tried with our daughter and each time she called us on the telephone for her uh, for her she and each time she calls on the telephone for her so she watches her kids stuff that became a headache until we deliberately tried to reduce it for her with personal engagement it can be scary it gave us the freedom we were losing with her wow this is a parent talking you see if you are a parent and you are you want to parent because there are parents who just want to have their peace of mind once you are a parent my uh, my dear friends it's not just a question of peace of mind you have to be ready for it but this parent, a, a father, says that uh, it was difficult and they had to reduce it and at the end it worked. Another mother, a mother, says that my children always watch cartoon on, in foreign language, but I and the father always speak in our local language with them. So they always speak our, their mother tongue because they are, because they are doctor ask us to do so so the doctor living in a foreign country their doctor advised them that as they would do that that's a very good one thank you uh, parents thank you very much uh, uh, mother who is giving us that okay any other any other yes are you back gloria yes father okay which of the topics interest you yeah the, the last one okay great Yes, um, this is the reason why I really appreciate this um, initiative that you have taken up. Okay. It looks as if um, we go on social media, but maybe we do not find interesting ways of discussing some of these or learning some of these skills that you are referring to over here. Uh, mm -hmm. We may go on social media and we read about them, we watch videos on them, but we tend to think that they are foreign. Mm -hmm. So um, you bringing up something like this, you organizing this platform and engaging us in this, these topics is a really, really good thing. And I think that if more people uh, um, bring up things like this, it will help us all parents to learn more about parenting skills and many other uh, uh, important topics that would benefit us. So yeah, it's a really good initiative that you have brought up and we really appreciate. Okay, great, great, great. Now, before I go on, permit me to use the occasion I see Fidelis Bani is there. But before I go on, let me say that in October or from October, we are coming up with the support of uh, a lot of mothers and a lot of uh, with mothers who are behind. We are coming up with the initiative of hanging out with Father Raymond. And we are going to be doing a, once a month uh, dealing with teenagers or just young ones, 18, 16 to 23. I'm told the children, we plan to do 20, 20, 25. But the children, some of them say 25 look too old. So I know, but whatever it is, we are going to be hanging out, Father Raymond with the kids. And we are going to be doing 11 years to 15 years also, another time. So once a month each for them, please support this initiative. Talk to your children. Let them watch out. It's coming up live in October. Father Raymond hanging out with the children and the kids. It's coming up live. Please support this ministry. Do I see Fidelis? I'll come back to what I've been talking about. Fidelis, are you there? Fidelis, Bani. Uh, yeah, please come around. Yes, please. What's your contribution, buddy? I, I just entered the whole program, so 
Okay. Please just continue. Maybe I'll pick something. Thank you very much. Okay, good. Yeah. So we have Josephine online. Josephine. Hello, Father. Good evening. Good evening, Josephine. I haven't said anything today. Yeah, what I was trying to, about to say is, um, from, from the beginning, as they were saying about um, leaving your child with um, someone, or I don't think any parent wanted to leave their children with anyone. No parent wanted to do that. But as the other lady said, circumstances and where we live, sometimes you don't have choice. And even when you're leaving your child inside you, you feel sad circumstances you have to do it there's no way you can say i'm not doing it your hands are tight you have to do it it's not because of the money but where we live and where the circumstances we have to leave our children okay. so i don't think any child any, any parents want to do that okay but that that is not excuse also for us to leave our children for so long we well, have to think at least if you can do some like if you have to do like full time and if you can do part time and have time for them as well, I think that's also a good idea. If, if you can't Josephine. speak for everyone. Mm. Okay. And they said, and one, the another one is leaving your child behind the TV. <laughs> as the lady said, some children, you have to leave them in front of the telly or for them to um, learn. There's a lot of things for them to learn on the telly. You can teach them, but some, some cartoons that they watch as well educate them a lot. So okay. if a child cannot even talk, some of the cartoons make them. It's like therapy for them as well. So it's not like we want to leave them in front of the telly for us to have time on the, on the, on the phone, or, but sometimes it helps them as well. That's Thank you. Contribution. That's good, Josephine. That's good. Okay. We have um, another person, another mother says that, Father, on the subject of the screen, they may not be right, but sometimes good things come out of its use. Example, if a four-year-old child is using the phone to her mother when her dad's brain tumor collapsed whilst looking after the child at home. Wow, that is good. Okay, so that can also happen. Now we have... Um, I go to other topics now. Wow. Now the next topic is, should we share our children's photos online? Should we share our children's photos online? Wow. That's another interesting wow. thing. William, William. William. Is William there? Okay. Now, yes, uh, yes, William. Okay. Now, a pediatrician wrote, as it said, that you know, that's, that you can read it, basically it says that when you want to share your children's photos on the social media, do you ever think that, that the children need to be, the children's rights could be being trampled upon? At what stage do you start sharing your children's photos on social media? This is a controversial topic. I am the parent. Can't I share my joy? my own baby, the picture of my baby on social, uh, on social media. Yes. Is it your property? Is the baby your property? My dear friends, what do you say? What do you say in this matter? I see Justine. Justine, what do we? I was very sorry. I just joined you. No I'm problem. Sorry. No problem. We also have a... Um, Michaela. Michaela Joyce. Okay. Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay. But I just joined you. I was late. <laughs> no problem. No problem. And we have Loretta here. Loretta. Okay. 
We have Armstrong. Armstrong, please, you can unmute yourself, Armstrong. Okay, Father, um, good evening. Thank you and, very much. Um, thank you very much for bringing out this these topics for discussion. I, I'm not a parent, um, mm -hmm. but I'm very, very passionate about um, recent happenings in terms of how we use technology, how we follow technology, and the impact that these have on, on children and how we bring children up. My personal view, looking at um, the kind of parenting I had from my, my mom and my dad, um, the kind of control they had on things I, I could access, things I couldn't access. Those times, even we didn't have access to cell phones and these tablets and um, internet. But these days, um, like a lot of the contributors have said, you leave the children to these gadgets and then they stop disturbing or they stop making noise or crying. There are good elements in them. They can use these tools to learn, but we should also not lose facts or not lose sight of the dangers that we expose our children to in, in having access to these, um, these gadgets these days. Um, there are lots, a lot that happens in, in, in the area of um, the internet and our cell phones and tablets and TVs. We, we leave our children to watch any cartoon program without us actually reviewing what the contents are. We think, oh, it's just cartoons and children are going to learn new things from them. But trust me, a lot of these cartoon contents are really, really um, very dangerous. Children learn very, very bad habits and dangerous things from, from some of these programs that we watch on the screens. That, that, is, that is my contribution. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Thank you very much, Armstrong. That's a good one there. Okay, good. Do we have another person? And another topic since we are, is allowing your children, your teenagers to date a great idea. Whoa. By the way, by the way, what is dating? To what extent may they be involved in dating? This is a question that is up. Your children, a lot of them are already dating. At what stage can they be dating? Yes. Do we have Nanaya? Yes. Yeah, Father. Uh, Father, very good evening once again. Uh, uh, my mind is on the whether is uh, should should we share our children's photos online? Uh, okay. Uh, Father, gradually uh, we are we are getting to a day and age where it becomes quite difficult uh, trying to advise or encourage somebody because uh, it's like we are all. We all want to do what we feel like doing, and who are you to tell me what not to do and what to do? I personally have an have a challenge of sharing children's photos on on the social media because I feel it's it's too prime, it's too prime. I mean, you are in, in, inflicting on the child's rights, and I mean, you might not know the consequences later on in life. I mean, what they might come up, but. There are some parents I confront them, I talk to, and they, they go like, it's their joy. I mean, they, they find solace and joy in doing that for people to uh, comment and, oh, your child is beautiful, your child is little, congratulations, and they get joy and, 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 and solace in that. So it becomes quite challenging because it's a, it's a person, the person who tells it is my right, it's my child, and so you have no right to tell me what to do and what, what not to do. But personally, I feel it's something we should, we should talk on the, on, 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 on the pulpit, we should talk on and on and on, 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 on any occasion we get that we should try and encourage our parents especially our mothers especially the women they are fond of doing uh, some of these things and about the dangers of it not now but later on in life what it might pose to the child i mean as innocent as a child might be and what you, out of your joy you don't try and inflict on the child's rights i mean of sharing his photos and everything about him or her on the social media it's becoming unbecoming and Thank you. Uh, Father, some of you can I mean, to uh, address some of these issues for, for us. At the time they, they even fight us at home. They fight them. You. When you want to stop them, they fight you. At, it's my child. Why, why are you trying to stop me from doing what I'm, that will give me joy or something? So Thank uh, you very that much, is a, a letter I think I have. Okay. Your contribution, yes. Okay. Then. Somebody has just sent in. He says that, please, I live in a country where they tell me I have parental responsibility. 
but they have the legal responsibility on the cow. Wow. In that sense, that puts me in a position that I can violate the legal rights, the child's, the child's legal right. Hence, sharing my child's pictures can fall into this violation. Okay. Generally, I have observed that this picture's sharing is largely a show off. Wow. A mere competitiveness and other times to get to the others, to get others praise them, I praise our maker with our gifts. Wow. Okay. This is interesting there. Thank you. Okay, great. Do I have another one there? Okay. Yeah, I'm back again. Gloria is back. Okay. Where are the rest, please? The rest of us, where are we? Please, everybody, come online and share your own. Okay. Gloria, yes. Yes, Father. About this place. Okay. <laughs> yes. About displaying children's photos online. Yes. There's the story. In fact, a, a real case that um a friend told me okay. a child actually got missing. Mm. She was kidnapped. Mm. And after the child was found, um, the kidnappers, when they were asked how they got the child, the process they used, it was from the child's mother. Okay. She displayed the child's photos on Facebook okay. in the child's okay. school uniform. Mm. So they picked the child's information from the photo that was posted online. They got to know the school that the child attends. And that was how they traced uh, the child to her school and they kidnapped her. So yeah. sometimes it is really dangerous to display our children's photos online. For me, it's a no-no. Right. But you realize that some people, even a day one child, a child who has just been born, and they will display the photo. Thank God I have a baby. I mean, it's a joy, yes, but we have to be careful how we use these photos, especially when they are children like that, toddlers and stuff. It's really, really dangerous. Thank you very much, Gloria. Do we have Michaela back? Yes, I'm here, Father. Oh. Good evening, Father. How are you? Good evening again, yeah, Michaela. Yeah. Okay, um, there are the pros and cons of social media, um, mm -hmm. the good and the bad. Um, I and agree the, with and the ugly them when well. they say we shouldn't really mm -hmm. share, yeah, share that many things, I mean, concerning our children because then we make them um, available to others to exploit. It's 21 hours. So, um, at the same time, um, Social media has helped us. Some kids have been missing, and it was through social media that we were able to find yeah. them. So there are the pros That's and cons. It. I think we need to know where the balance is. And then the second thing I wanted to talk about was about the dating with our children. Oh, okay. Ideally, if they were 18 and above, would be fine. But okay. you can't stop them from wanting to date because... Mm. Um, now they go to school till um, form three and then they end up in um, senior high school. If they don't go to a um, single sex school and they go to schools, they are going to be attracted to each other. So if you notice that something like this is going on, it's the best time to start educating your child so that you're not found wanting. Okay, okay, okay. That's what so I was going to say. Would you want to wait when they've already started dating and they understand they are already deciding that they want to date? Before? No, 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 no. You should start talking to them before. You should okay. start talking to them before that because of body changes and all the things that come with growing up, you're going to be experiencing these things. Uh, mm -hmm. Ideally, if you can wait till after 18 when you don't have um, that primary part of school, which is an important part of your foundation, that would be good. Then after that, you're going to invest, you're more matured, you, you're thinking better. But some people end up dating before they are 17. 
So you need to inform them, keep your eye on them. Parents need to make that effort. Because okay. parents have left children to grow up on their own because we are looking for money. We need to make time for our children. We will, at a point, we would not know our children. And we would have assumed that we knew our children, but we wouldn't know our children. So it's very important that we keep an eye, speak to our children, find out what their problems are, what they're going through. Uh, let, it, let them feel comfortable coming to us instead of hiding things from us. Thank you very much, Michaela. Okay. Otherwise, we... Do we have Albertina online or... Okay. Father. Yes, please. Um, I just wanted to add to the dating uh, discussion the lady took on. Um, okay. How would you know that uh, maybe your 13, 14 year old child mm -hmm. going to school and coming and uh, dating because some of them are so discreet, even if you want to talk to them about dating and they'll say, no, mommy, I'm not doing that. But behind, they are doing something. So as parents, what do we look out for? That's a question I'm putting to my fellow mothers out there. Okay. Shall I just be, just say that, oh, thank God I'm not a mother, so I don't have to answer. No, no, no. <laughs> I know, I, I just want to pull you up. I guess, well, I guess, but you see, I guess we have to also be careful the way we would understand, because I asked, by the way, what is dating? And then if your child is dating, does it mean that your child is having sex? You understand? Because yeah. uh, the moment, um, the moment you find out that if a child is dating, actually the child is just awakening to his or her sexuality, okay, and is responding is responding in, in or to that. So that is basically the dating. But of course, we understand it a little bit more than that, and uh, not just that. A lot of persons would easily conclude that once you are working with a girl or a boy for that long, then you have started, you know, you, you, they start talking to you with a mind that be careful about boys too, and then everything. Then you start imputing certain things into the mind of the child, as if uh, talking to the child is already, you know, having sex with the child, uh, with another person. And then because of that, the child becomes very curious about what is this sex sex thing and then wants to have and participate in it. Thank you very much. I think our time is up and I'd like to read one of the last questions and then we'd like to, it says, somebody says that educating your child about sex and relationship should start at age eight. Good, interesting. Due to puberty and the body changes, because personally, I got to know about sex and changes in my body from my friends in school. And I even started menstruating without my parents' knowledge because she was never open to such a discussion before, um, never open to such a discussion. And before she could say, Jack, I was really doing it. Wow. Okay. That is uh, a nail. <laughs> right. So before parents, my dear friend, my dear parents, this is where time would allow us. I saw Fidelis Mani online and I saw um, Nana Yao. Unless any of them would be very snappy with their contribution, would like to be. Is if Nana Yao or yeah. Fidelis Mani, as I see them yeah, still. Father. Yes, please. Father, Father Ray, yeah, I, just a quick one on the date. I think, uh, but as as human as we are, we all need uh, uh, we need acceptance. Uh, we need uh, we are social being, and so therefore, if we lack that thing from the home, if we lack that uh, acceptance from home from parents, we will tend to seek it uh, elsewhere. And that's why I mean, as as young as five, six, seven, eight, we begin to I mean, getting attachment to. Uh, friends back at school and uh, in the community and stuff. So I, I would like 
our parents to do more. Let's get closer to our children at that early stage, five, six, seven. Let's get, let them be our friends so that they'll be, they'll be the first and foremost to confide in. And I'm sure that, I mean, even if they are dating, they'll be corrected, they'll be directed by our parents to do the right thing and to just to know friends and to learn the good thing from them rather than going to their streams. Thank you. Thank you very much, Nanaya. Okay. As I mentioned... Uh, yeah. 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 Well, I, I, I thank you very much. Mm -hmm. uh, the person who has uh, spoken last has said it all. Okay. And the initial stage that for the elderly ones. Uh, but uh, to solve this modern trend and so on, it's better the parents know their, their children very well. Mm -hmm. And they are the right uh, people who can teach, uh, teach them the way to go by all these things. Okay. Yes, because they are first teachers. They went through these things. And then they have the, the, the real means of telling them the right thing, not other, not, not any other person, especially their co equals, will just mislead them. Thank you. So I think our parents should take responsibility. They should be friendly, very friendly, free with their children. Not all the time. They, they know the way manner the, our parents follow up their children, they can be very free enough to express their, 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 their feelings and so on. So the parents, they have a, a greater role to play in their children's life. Uh, that's my mind. Thank you, Fidelis Bani, for the conclusive words that you have presented to us. And uh, without uh, much ado, we would like to bring the curtain to a close and would like to thank each and every one of us for time spent on parenting. My dear friends, we cannot exhaust this thing about parenting, but I believe that something has been learned and some attitudes have been changed and we will begin to do better. Remember, the measure of a man's life is the way you treat those who are lesser or who you take care of. So the way you are considerate to, uh, about your children will determine how much of a man, and for that matter, how much of a woman you are. Thank you very much for your time. Shall we pray? In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Amen. Gracious and ever-living Father, I bless you for this day. I thank you for life. Father, you have brought us together that we may share ideas so as to clarify the way that is right and truth and that is pure. Father, I pray that the seed of truth that have been planted in many of us shall, shall grow and bear fruit. I pray for the grace of parenting upon all of us. Let your will, O oh God, be done. I thank you for this day, and I ask your grace to descend upon all of us that in all ways, even if we have no children of ours, we will become good parents, godly parents, for the sake of your kingdom. Father, I pray with this time, and I pray for those who seek the fruit of the womb through the intercession of Saint Joachim and Anne. Grant, O oh God, the gift of the fruit of the womb unto those who seek them. Bless us all in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. May the Lord bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you, Father. You.